Hey guys, today we're going to look into shot matching. So if you've ever been in a location and you've shot multiple clips and then you go home and you edit and then all of a sudden the colors doesn't look exactly the same, even though you did everything the same and the camera was the same, but the settings have obviously shifted a little bit. If you've been in different locations, even though it's the same place, then light and composition, everything can change. So the colors might be a little bit different. So for this particular video, we have two shots of me walking in the forest. I was out shooting with my dad and for some reason after I've applied my LUTs and I've done the exact same steps the colors just looks a little bit different and I like the colors of the one clip a little bit more than the other one so we're gonna try and match the first clip to the other one and see if we can get the colors to look the same so that our look throughout our entire video can be the same. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and get started. I have cheated a little bit for this video. So we have a note tree already. And what I've done is I've transformed my image from C-Log3 Cinema Gamut and into DaVinci White Gamut. And then I have made that from DaVinci White Gamut into Rec. 709 in the end so that everything we're working with inside is the same. And this will go for any camera. You can just apply the settings in the first one. Then I've applied my LUT because I like the look that this Cine LUT gives, Cine Light 1. And then I've just adjusted the exposure a little bit to make it a little bit brighter and make it look a little bit more pleasing. Then I went in and did the exact same thing for this other clip. But as you can see immediately, the colors look very different. They are way more saturated and way more green in this one than they are here. They are way more muted. But I've basically done the same thing. I've converted from C-Log to the Minsi Gamut, then converted into Rec. 9 applied the exact same LUT, and then I've just changed the exposure a little bit. But why are these clips then so different? Well, I already like the look of this one. I think it looks very good. And I would like the colors in this one to look the exact same. So I'm just going to go in uh, to the gallery. I'm just going to delete this one. That's an old one. I'm going to grab a still. And now I have this still with these colors. So I'm going to go into my first clip now. I'm going to click on this little icon up here. that gives my wipe effect. And then I can drag in. And now I can see exactly. And now I can see both clips. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to go horizontal here. Because now I have the colors up here and the colors down here. And now I can kind of match and mix those two. So I'm going to hide my clips. I'm going to hide my gallery here to give us a little bit more space to work with. Zoom in a little bit and move around my tree here a little bit, even though it looks so nice. Exposure up here and the LUT here. I'm going to make a new note after the LUT because that's where I want to adjust my colors. And I'm going to go into my hue versus hue. I'm just going to drag on. I'm still adjusting the bottom clip. The, or the other one is just kind of shown on top. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to mark my greens here just to get some points that show me where those tones are. And then I'm going to try and adjust the hue a little bit. I think it needs to be a little bit less saturated towards the greens. So I'm just going to push them up a little bit too much to the yellows. It's very subtle. Then I'm going to go into my saturation. And I'm going to highlight the same ones. And then I'm going to go in and make them much less saturated. I think I need to go a little bit more into the reds as well. This is already looking a lot better. Then I'm going to go into my luminance. And I'm going to drag that down a little bit as well. Maybe more towards green tones over here. I think already we are so much closer to what we had up here. I think you can still do a little bit of tweaking. So I'm going to go into the saturation here, just play around with it a little bit more, like so. And I think that might be it. So let's just go back to our image wipe here and just kind of look at the difference. It's still not, it's definitely still not perfect. It still has way too much green in it up here. So we might go in and might go in actually before the lot. I'm just going to play around with the temperature a little bit. So I'm going to try and push this down a little bit again to see the colors. I'm just going to play around and see what these two does. Definitely not the tint. But then if we move around with the other one, temperature doesn't do that much either. I do think the tint can do with just a little bit more magenta. It's so subtle that you almost can't see it. So I think colors are starting to get there, but it's not muted enough, that's for sure. This, by the way, it's just gonna name these as well. This is our temp, and this is our curves. 
I'm gonna add another curve and I'm gonna try and play around even more with the saturation. So I'm just gonna call this for sat. I'm gonna go into the saturation, then the luminance versus sat, and then I'm gonna try and see what area this one lies in. I'm gonna move this point over here and drag this down. And I'm just gonna play around with lowering the saturation of these tones over here without hopefully it affecting too much of all the other colors. I'm gonna put a point in the first one here and then just kind of drag down the spline. And that took out a bit more of the color as well. Still looks a little bit too blue. Sad versus sad. Let's see where we are at on this curve. We are very at the very beginning here. So let's just drag this in, give this a little bit of a curve and kind of see where that gets us. So that gets us to a much more blue tone, which means that we might want to go in and just warm it up a little bit, just like around 70. I think that looks better again. And then back into our curves, just going to play around with the hue a little bit. I'm going to zoom in, not that much. So have a little bit more control here. Just kind of going to see if we can tweak it. I think this color green now looks a little bit more like this color green up here. And then back into the saturation. Kind of going to try and see if we can get to a sweet spot. I think this is pretty much as far as we get. And then there is something about the exposure in here. So I'm going to go back into my exposure, maybe go into the log wheels and maybe just lower my shadows a little bit. And I don't think we get much closer to it than that. So while it's not perfect, I do still believe that from these few adjustments, we definitely got closer to where we were before. So this was before, just after applying the LUT. And this is where we're at now. I think the colors are way more muted, like they are up here. So I think we can get away with having this look like it was the same. And I think the colors will not be that full. Then we have all the oranges down here, not matching up with the reds up here. We could play around with matching that as well. But for this one, I just wanted to go into the greens and kind of try and see if we could get somewhat of a more muted look. A last thing we could try to see if we can get even closer, something I'm not doing that often, but it's qualifier, there we go. And then go in and qualify out our greens. I kind of just want to see what we are selecting here. So we don't want all of these red tones. We just want the sweet spot for our greens here. That is probably as good as it gets. Just soften it out a little bit. We can get away with whitening a little bit more. And I think that is pretty good. See if we get some clean black and clean white and just blur it out quite a bit as well. And add a little bit of denoise. All right, now we shouldn't have too much of a problem. There is a little bit around the edges up here. So let's see if we can just put around that. I think something like this could be good. And then from this, we can just go in and desaturate everything quite a bit. So I'm going to draw it down to 25. And this really enhanced that look without hopefully stealing too much of these other colors. So let's get our wipe back here and see that might have even been a little bit too much because we still have that blue cast. So maybe we just need to add a few more greens or just remove some of that blue. So actually removing one blue, I think just got us that one last step closer to where we want it to be. I think that looks pretty good now. We have some of the other tones that are a little bit more muted, but then we could go back and forth and try and fix all of that. But I think overall in general, we got these greens to look a lot like these greens. And as soon as you start playing with qualifiers and all that stuff, it becomes a little bit more dangerous in terms of the clip moving. But I think we did a pretty good job of getting 
almost the same colors here especially within a short span of this video. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope that it gave you a little bit of an idea of how you can do some shot matching. I'm definitely gonna do more of these in the future. Leave a comment down below if that's something you're interested in. And if you have any ideas of kind of what kind of colors we should do or what kind of clips we should do, I'm gonna try and do something across clips, but I didn't really have time to find different clips for this video that could work together so I decided to just go for two that look different from the same location with the same camera which is a pain in itself that it doesn't look exactly the same. So I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you watched it all the way to the end and no matter what I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.